All right, welcome back, everybody. It is 6.20 p.m. May 25th, 2018. And, oh, man, it was a hard day at work today. Let me tell you that all my phone has been doing is going off the hook about subs and people on Twitter and just uh, just stuff that I respect so much from you guys that uh, you take the time out of your day to send me updates and to remind me of things and, like, you know, teach me new things all the time. It's just incredible. But... With that said, we need to understand that uh, hurricanes, tropical storms, any sort of a storm that is focused on by mainstream media is is dangerous. And I don't want people to get the confusing idea that I love these storms so much that, you know, I love devastation and harm on people because that is absolutely the last type of person I am. I wish harm upon no person whatsoever, um, especially when it comes to situations that Mother, Mother Nature throws at us and things that we can't control. So, although I may seem like I get excited over this stuff, you got to understand it's a passion of mine. It's something I enjoy studying. It's something that I am intrigued by still almost every day. I'm learning something new, um, not only on my own, but from you guys down below. I mean, it seems like there's some people in the comments section that know more about this stuff than me. So, you know, I, I recommend people start their own channels, uh, yeah, learn the information, get it out to people, because it just seems to me that the, the amount of people we've reached so far in just one year on this channel, um, those of you who have been followers since day one, you, you know that um, it's very easy to break this stuff down, and for some reason the mainstream media, they, they have a hard time using terms that the average person can understand. Um, and you know what? It took me a long time to learn these terms, and I have meteorologists in my family. I have a current one in the Navy right now as we speak. So um, I do have a basic knowledge of this stuff, and, you know, that's enough for my monologue for this video. I hope none of you clicked off yet, but we're dealing with a pretty uh, serious situation. A storm surge watch is in effect from Horseshoe Beach, Florida, to the mouth of the Mississippi River due to Alberto, our first... Uh, named storm of the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season. We once again, second year in a row, have started early. Uh, official date is June 1st. This means that there are risks for life-threatening storm surge from this approaching storm later this week. And by later this week, storm surge areas, um, that's these highlighted areas here. Now we have to understand we're still um, a significant time away from this storm making it to this point of the Gulf. And we all know how these storms change direction. They change their mind. They come up with minds of their own. Um, sometimes they break all the rules as far as the jet stream and the and the very strong shear winds we have uh, way above our heads that are basically the explanation of how these storms are, are steered and controlled. And sometimes that doesn't even... Uh, make sense to some of these storms. So, you know what? That's why we do this every day, guys. And I know I say that a lot, but it's, it's the absolute truth. The reason we do these videos is because we need to understand that we can have as much information as possible, but these storms can do whatever they want. So with that said, enough talk from me. Um, you can clearly see mainstream media is now bringing out the old hurricane maps and our, our uh, cones of uncertainty was a new term they used last year. Um, you know, I guess to give themselves some cover about being wrong or whatever, but some storms everyone was completely wrong about, uh, including myself. And then there were some that I was dead on about uh, that other people weren't. So, you know what? It's a hit or miss type of deal. If you understand weather, you can kind of make your most educated guess. Check out this lightning going on on our uh, continent right now if you are a U.S. citizen. This is just unbelievable. The entire mid to southeast is just bursting in lightning and thunderstorms. We have strips as far uh, to the west as uh, Oregon. My, um, oh my god, I'm messing up my state names. We've got Oregon and Washington. That's right, Washington, Northern California. Uh, we can move all the way across the country, even into Canada. Look at the size of some of these massive storms going on right now. Uh, this is one of the crazier uh, screens I've seen as far as this goes. So, anyway, let's move on to Alberta. Let's talk some more about these spaghetti plots. You can see some of them have changed. Um, here is my main concern, guys, and for those of you that watched me last uh, hurricane season, you will understand this too. When you start seeing all these different... Uh, places that put in their information 
to give us an idea of where they think the storm is going to go. Check this all out. I would say about 100%. Got to say 99 because of these two guys over here. But almost 100% of these pads have this thing shooting the gap between Cancun and Cuba. The two seas that pass right through. Uh, that allows them to be untouched or unbothered by land as they approach um, the Gulf Coast states. And as of right now, 90% of charts show this thing hitting anywhere from the western part of the panhandle. We're talking Mississippi, Alabama, and of course Louisiana. With obviously, like I said this morning, or uh, yesterday rather, that these storms can come up the coast and then they can just make a sharp turn. That could be due to a little dip in the jet stream that pushes it down into the uh, western part of the Gulf. So that could also put Texas at risk as well. So... If you guys have noticed, they put a lot of mainstream media attention on this. Obviously, it's the first storm of the season. Um, so, obviously, there's a lot of stuff on the Internet as well. So, I'm just trying to bring you the most accurate, updated information. Here's a bit of a timeline of when we can expect this thing to start moving through the Gulf. Uh, they do expect it to become at least a tropical storm. The possibility of a hurricane is absolutely still there. Uh, we could see Category 1, maybe 2. Some uh, channels were stretching it to a Cat 3. Who knows at this point, but that's why we're going to keep an eye on this. So we could see 4 p.m., 1 p.m. Saturday, we should be past that gap if these uh, spaghetti plots stay true. 1 a.m. Sunday, we're about parallel to the Keys and the southern tip of Florida. Uh, 1 p.m. Sunday, we are basically parallel with Lake Okeechobee and then the southern tip of Texas. And then as we move into Monday, Memorial Day, of course... Uh, this is the area of watch as of right now. This may move to uh, the east. It may move to the west. You guys know how this works. Uh, so we're just going to keep watching it. Here is another cone. We have a little bit of a wider idea here. So they're basically including Texas finally to be part of this possible situation. But again, the majority of the information is showing this thing coming right dead center to all the southern coasts of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Um, it's a very common area to be hit by uh, hurricanes. We had Irma. Obviously, we bring up a lot here. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. Um, believe it or not, we had a little earthquake in New York today. It's not registering on this site, but um, it was in south eastern New York, 1.8, 5 kilometers deep. So just a little bit of a rare situation there I wanted to share with you guys. Now let's look at the forecast models. We'll see what day we can expect this storm to start affecting uh, the U.S. at least. It already is affecting areas of southern Cuba. We can see some really dense storms moving in from the south there as we move into May 26th. Um, and then we start to get pretty interesting. 992, 990, 989 as far as our pressure. Now remember, the lower that pressure is, the stronger the storm is. The closer the rings are around the L, the higher wind rates we get. That's how we know these are hurricane shapes or tropical storm shapes. Now this thing is showing going right into Mississippi, Alabama, and the most western part of the panhandle. That is our GFS, which even the mainstream media is beginning to say is not a reliable source. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that up. We'll check out what the Canadians have to say about it. Looks pretty similar as far as the landfall goes. Let me back down. And yes, they have it actually riding up that um, <clears throat> western coast of Florida where Irma went. And then making its little hook approach, possibly getting stronger as it separates itself from the coast here as it moves into that uh, Alabama, Mississippi, and even a little bit of Louisiana as far as the CMC goes. So we have multiple models agreeing on multiple things. The timing's about the same. Here is an FV3 GFS model. Yes, part of the GFS track, but... We have to admit, it is taking a similar pattern, maybe, maybe taking in a little more of Florida. Florida's going to get drenched by this one way or another, guys, so you've got to prepare yourselves for a very uh, kind of uh, uneventful weekend for those of you that plan on doing things outside for the holiday weekend. But we can th see things getting pretty strong right there as we get into uh, Georgia. Um, and again, Mississippi and Alabama, this thing might whip around and be uh, severe weather in that area too. They're talking about this thing being a very big, uh, big rainmaker, and we have a lot of moisture up in the U.S., so we have a lot of high atmospheric moisture. Um, and then we can see these greens here. These are already blowing over Florida. Florida has just been in overcast and tons of rain lately, so I'll start this from the beginning, which goes back a few hours. See some storms forming in the central area of the country, and then this is the beginning of that wave of Alberto 
that is already affecting the Keys, already affecting Miami. Now we're up into Okeechobee, which was earlier today. Big spotty storm over Texas. And then we start to see the rotation. That's the interesting part. As you see that rotation, it looks like it's going clockwise. But really, the central area of the storm is still very far south. We still have a few days to go before it gets up into the Gulf area. But nonetheless, there's a lot of moisture surrounding it. And again, high atmospheric moisture uh, blends with this warm weather coming up. And it produces rain. So... Um, that's basically where we're at with this storm, guys. We are definitely dealing with a storm that could potentially become pretty significant. Um, like I said, some people are even calling for a Cat 3. I'm not sure we're going to get to that spot. I would say at most Cat 2 if it becomes a hurricane at all. Um, but the most uh, promising information as far as that being a possibility is the fact that Cancun and uh, Cuba allow this gap in the warm waters of the Caribbean and now the warm waters of the Gulf to just fuel this thing as it moves north into one of these four, possibly five states. So we know it's going in one direction. We just need to know how strong it's going to be when it gets there and what type of plans and preparations those of you that live in that area need to make. So, all right, guys, I've kept you here for a really long time. Just really wanted to get this update out. It was a struggle at work today to not get a video out to you guys. I felt so bad, but, you know, things happen but i'm glad we got to touch base here um anything significant changes any more updates you can guarantee i will bring them up to you pretty much off for the holiday weekend i don't know how many of you will be online but the videos will be there for you to watch um if that is the case all right guys thanks for staying patient with me i really appreciate it i appreciate all the comments below the positive feedback the alerts all of it you name it it is amazing it's the reason i do this Thank you all so much. Caroline says hi, and um, have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.